Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, and it is here, it has finally dropped, Marvel's new TV show, She-Hulk, Attorney at Law, is now on Disney+. Plus. We watched it last night, and uh, I look, I've always been a big She-Hulk fan, and when I heard Tatiana Maslany from Orphan Black was going to be playing Jennifer Walters slash She-Hulk, I was super excited. So, did it live up to the excitement? <laughs> Stick around, find out. All right, now before we get onto this review, uh, real quick, if you're new to my channel, please get on down there and hit like, subscribe, smack that bell. I uh, do all kinds of fun stuff here besides reviews like this. I also get out there and do Blu-ray hunts, which are a lot of fun. Also do box office breakdowns every Monday morning. I do top tens. I do out and abouts where there's uh, special events or conventions, and I'll do live tours of those things. And I also have a trivia show that I do that people are loving. And guys, look, there's a great show coming up Monday night. Look at this lineup, man. We got movies and Sue Durant Cinema, Tony's Movies and More, and Commander Nerd ready to just bring the heat. Guys, it's going to be such a great show. So please, if you're in the area, <laughs> in the area, which is right in front of you. So please stop by the channel on Monday night and check that out. It's going to be so much fun. Uh, and look, as, as a quick little plug too, this Saturday night, tomorrow night, uh, we got another really great show coming up for you. It's what I call my Academy Awards do-over episode and uh, got another killer lineup. Look at all these amazing people. And we're going to discuss all the people we thought should have won on the Oscars in particular categories, which includes Best Picture, Director, Actor, Actress, and Supporting Actor and Actress. So we're going to uh, each pick our, our number one from each of those categories and share with you guys. So that is uh, Saturday night. So be there for that. All right, now, come on, let's get to it. It's time for She-Hulk. Let's talk. Now, uh, growing up, I was a huge fan of the She-Hulk comics, so I have a lot invested in this. Of all the ones that have been announced and all these characters that have come out, and you know, you got your your Moon Knight and all these movies, you know, with you know, all these characters. Well, I have I have just been waiting and wanting to see She-Hulk come alive, and I gotta tell you, I'm just I'm not even gonna shortcut. I'm just gonna jump into it. I loved it. I freaking loved this show. I thought the tone was just right. Uh, and that's the other thing too. If you don't know the She-Hulk comic and that she breaks the fourth wall, she was the first fourth wall breaker even before Deadpool. So if you guys love it when Deadpool breaks the fourth wall, then you should like it when she does it too. She was kind of the OG when it came to that. Uh, and it, it's a very, uh, it's a little bit lighter. It's funny as hell. Like I was laughing out loud. I think the animation is not nearly, I know in those trailers, a lot of people were worried they didn't look great but I think it looks fantastic it is it is Marvel top-notch when, when you look at her and Banner in the scene together they look great like like Banner looks uh, as the Hulk looks as good as he did in the movies it, like his facial expressions and the detail same thing with uh, Tatiana Maslany when she's portraying the She-Hulk I think her facial expressions and everything look great. Sure, you can nitpick a thing here and there, but you can do that in all the uh, Marvel movies as well. I think there's some, you know, effects you might be able to go, eh, the lips are weird on that one, you know, whatever, you know, with Thanos. But for the most part, I felt that she looked great, she moved great, the, the expressions on her face, I, I'm pretty sure match whatever Tatiana is doing with that mocap suit. So yeah, so as far as that goes, I think it's really good. I love that it's a uh, sort of an Ally McBeal like uh, attorney show. It was rather short too, if, if you took out all the end credits. This show ended at about 30 minutes. Uh, and there's a nice end tag scene as well. So, you know, stick around for the end tag. Don't go anywhere for that. And it's a very funny end tag. I, I like that it's not like every end tag has to be some earth shattering end tag. But this one, uh, it's funny. They talk about Steve Rogers, you know, a.k.a. Captain America. But you have to see it. You have to see it to laugh. So <clears throat> anyway, let's uh, break down the show a little bit with about, without too much uh, spoilers, if you will. So uh, it starts out right out of the gate. You know, she's already... Jennifer Walters' attorney, and she is the She-Hulk already because her friend even tells her, you know, hey, if things go weird, just Hulk out. And you're like, so at first when they said it, I thought, oh, is that just an expression everyone's using? Like, we all do. Like, we have, don't make me Hulk out on you. Like, so like the Hulk is so, you know, ubiquitous that everyone just uses the term. But it turns out that, no, that she's actually saying that because she can already She-Hulk. But she stops when her friend leaves. She goes back, closes the door, turns to the camera and go, okay, so about that. Uh, yeah, let me take you back to the top. And and she basically breaks the fourth wall, looks at us and tells us the backstory of how she became She-Hulk. And I think it's a terrific, fast-paced, gets to the point, 
uh, you know, origin story that doesn't meander and, and weight itself down with how she got there. I actually love how she got it, you know, like in the comics, she gets a blood transfusion. And could you imagine sitting through going to a hospital, getting a blood transfusion? Da, da, da. It's like, oh, it's going to be so boring. It's like, you know, they did it in such a, a clever way where she's, uh, she they get in an accident together, her and Bruce, and she's cut and he's cut. And basically, as they're trying to help each other out of the car, he kind of bleeds onto her, into her wound, instantly giving her his blood. Like, it was just so great. It was like right to the point, super fast and done. That, that's all you need. I'm like, man, that was five seconds and we're there. So it was super good. And then a lot of it is, is like training montages. Let me train you how to be a Hulk, you know, and they're doing those, all the things that you saw in the trailer where they're jumping and throwing boulders and stuff like that. All that is really like good, good hearted, fun stuff. And it really establishes a really nice chemistry between Mark Ruffalo and Tatiana. I think they really have something, even when they're just on the screen as basically CGI versions of Hulk and She-Hulk. Uh, I think that their chemistry works extremely well together as the live action themselves or in the digital world as the superheroes. Uh, so, yeah, so I, I was a big, big fan of this. I love the way it moved. I like the humor. I like the um, the performances by all the actors. It's nice to see Mark Ruffalo is a, a, a pretty big uh, part of this show. And look, we even get a couple of Easter eggs there. There's a... Uh, a ship that sort of basically startles them. That's how she has a car accident. And it's this ship that basically, from what I understand, this is after I sort of got out of comics, but that type of spaceship that they saw is something that leads to a, a whole Hulk story, like a planet Hulk story. So, you know, if that's, if that, if they're, Marvel always weaves stuff in and without accident, you know, so I'm sure that's probably going to lead to something for the Hulk down the line. Uh, but nonetheless, uh, a couple of bunch of nice Easter eggs in there, uh, like when they, they are in the car crash and she's trying to lift the car and all that. It's very reminiscent of the Bill Bixby Lou Ferrigno when, you know, he was in the car accident with his wife and he was trying to lift it. And there's even a, a couple of moments when, when Tatiana starts to Hulk out. They, they start with her eyes. Her eyes go first, which is something that I, I believe the first time that, you know, was ever done was on the, you know, Bill Bixby, Lou Ferrigno show, whenever he would start hulking out, his eyes would get like sort of like white green, you know, kind of thing. So it's nice that they tossed a couple of nods like that in there. So, um, and yeah, and also with She-Hulk, if, if you're not digging the humor, well, the whole point is it marries a lot of what her comics were. Uh, you know, when she first started out, she was Savage She-Hulk. And then when that run went away, she went and joined teams like the Avengers and the Fantastic Four. And I loved those. When she was part of those teams, she really added a, a, a sense of humor and, and um, uh, camaraderie and chemistry. And she always like you know, tried to dress super fancy. So her and like the Wasp, you know, Janet Van Dyne, <laughs> nerd alert. Uh, they were both fashionistas. So they're always trying to like, you know, dress and look hot and all that stuff. And then uh, she was a, a part of the um, Fantastic Four as well. For a while, when Ben Grimm left, you know, the thing left the group, she took over. And there was a really great chemistry between her and Johnny. He was always trying to hit on her, and she was, like, <laughs> not having it. So for me, like, that that humor that I love from She-Hulk is in this show. And because that's what I'm looking for and that's what I wanted, it delivered exactly the type of She-Hulk I was hoping for. So, um, so yeah, so I think that's going to do it. That That's going to be my, my review for now. I think I've, I've hit all the nice bullet points there. Don't want to give too much away about the show, uh, but that is the tone. That is what it's like. And I feel like if you are down with that tone, if you like the tone, you're going to love the show. Like when it was over, I watched it with my wife and my daughter and uh, we looked at each other like, well, and we just all started clapping. It was so much, it was so cool. It was such a great moment that we all like went, wow, that was really good. So yeah, so I, I'm happy uh, with where it is now and I can't wait to see where it goes. You know, I think it's what, only six episodes or something like that. So it'll be a, a quick watch and uh, I, I can't wait. I can't wait for the other five episodes. Super excited. All right, guys, that is going to do it for now. That's my review for She-Hulk Attorney at Law on Disney+. Plus. If you enjoyed this review, please get on down there and hit like, subscribe, smack that bell. I'd really appreciate it. So until next time, her hawk smash!